Kamala Harris has reportedly tapped Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz as her running mate. This according to CNN. Bloomberg's Anne-Marie Horden joins us now at the desk. And Anne-Marie, um, this is interesting because she had a choice between, you know, a hawk on Israel and a fairly conservative Democrat in Josh Shapiro in Philadelphia and a very left-leaning liberal governor out of Minnesota, and she went left. She went left, and many would say, actually, she is left, although we have seen her renege on some policy proposals she talked about when she was running in 2019 to get the primary, to be on the Democratic primary, things like fracking. They've come out now and said, actually, she doesn't want to ban fracking. So she went with Governor Waltz of Minnesota, according to CNN, at the moment. He's in Minnesota. This leans Democratic. This is a blue state, but it's very close to Wisconsin. It's very close to Michigan. I guess the hope here is that he can still be that voice for the Rust Belt. And he can be that folksy, rural, charming guy on the ticket who, frankly, just talks to the American people. When you see him in interviews, if you see him interact with people in Minnesota, he talks in a normal manner. He is able to speak to white men. He is able to speak to individuals who potentially are not college educated. So I think that's where they're going with him in terms of trying to balance out the ticket. We do know that they wanted to get a white male on the ticket, so he's going to be that one. He's in Minnesota, she's from California. I think with Shapiro it would have been another coast. <laughs> that's very much Soundgarden. That's yeah, very no. much feeling Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. no, but he, uh, Shapiro would have been another individual. Right. It would have been East Coast and West Coast. I think one thing, for sure, though, under the surface, but progressives were really pushing against Shapiro because of his stance on Israel, how he dealt right. with um, pro-Palestinian protesters, and it looks like she went with the under other individual potentially because of this. What's the role of some of these other constituents here? What's the role of Congress here? I'm looking at this Axios headline, calling it quiet diplomacy in Congress when it comes to Tim Waltz. There's also the unions. How might some of those cross currents play into their full ticket? Well, I think when they're looking at this ticket, they wanted someone who could be that person. Probably she was the one that made the final decision on this, who she thinks makes up for what she lacks. Now, we'll see what that means tonight, what they're at the rally when they're talking to individuals in the Midwest. And I, and I think for the Kamala um, ticket right now, they probably agree, though, on a lot when it comes to policy. You mentioned the fact that he is a progressive. Things like tuition-free meals at state universities he was for, enshrining abortion rights in Minnesota, providing pro protections for gender-affirming health care. He is pretty to the left. So they're both going to have to move to the center if they want to um, win those independents. He does want to provide protection for what, school-aged children to get things like puberty blockers, and this is what you mean by gender-affirming. Yes, providing uh, those protections. Interesting. So but they're both to the left. It's interesting to me that she didn't choose somebody in, uh, you know, a little bit more the vein of Mark Kelly, who is the son of a police officers, who uh, was an astronaut and a fighter pilot, and much more moderate in terms of, you know, his stance on the border, for example. This ticket is really... Uh, not going toward the center as I thought it would. Does that surprise you? Not really, because we've seen how much of the outpouring of support Governor Waltz has had from progressives. Also, how well he's done in terms of communication. There, He has really been the one that termed this whole idea that Republicans are weird. His words, not mine. He said Trump, Vance, or quote, they're just weird. Kamala Harris, Gen Z, TikTok, this has picked up. So he's already been an effective communicator for her. He's an effective individual when it comes to bringing in donations. Also, similar in the vein of Kelly, who's an astronaut event, he actually was a National Guard officer. He was a congressman, and he was a teacher. So he has a really long list um, of other professions and other hats he used to wear. And I think that's why they think he could be an effective communicator in middle of America. I really want to get this in here, too, because so much of the reason people thought she was going to choose Shapiro was to win Pennsylvania. Now that she's not, and according to the AP now as well, also saying Tim Walsh has been picked, does this mean that Pennsylvania becomes more or less difficult to win? You know, that remains to be seen. I. People will say, does it actually matter who the VP is? It matters who's People on top. People always say no. Yes, and it matters who's on top of the ticket. Um, but when you're dealing with very small groups of people, and if 
the and if this election is going to be won or lost in Pennsylvania, which many are claiming it is, then potentially Shapiro could have helped because he has great numbers in Pennsylvania and he's very well and he's very well liked there. What might be a little bit awkward this evening is that Governor Waltz will be flying over to Pennsylvania for the start of her campaign. She's going to announce him side by side at this rally and is going to be in Shapiro's backyard. Well, you know, there's the rest of a cabinet too, right? <laughs> Anne-Marie, we thank you so very much. That is Bloomberg's Anne-Marie Bordern.